my reference. So I know not to torture you more than an hour. So we start in Shavasana. Allowing the body to find a really comfortable position. Your legs can be straight or they can be bent. The hands can be turned up with the palms facing the ceiling or they can be on your belly. Make sure that the position you take makes you feel really at ease, find comfort, close the eyes, and imagine how your body starts to slowly sink into the mat. Try and relax the entire body from the top of the head to the tips of your toes. Relaxing every muscle, every bone, every fiber of the body. Fully letting go and allowing gravity to support you. And then bring your awareness to your breath without controlling, simply noticing. See where the breath goes. Notice if it's the belly or the chest or maybe both. Notice the air as it comes through the nostrils and then as it leaves the nostrils. See if there's any difference in temperature. See if you can notice if one of your nostrils is more active than the other. Allow the breath to be. Gentle, easy breaths. No doing. Simply being. And here we're going to start lengthen chest, exhaling less than the belly. Breath is moving like a wave into the belly and the chest. And on your exhale, it's moving out from the chest and then the belly. Try and be as comfortable as you can. 
check your face, check there is no tension. Make sure there's no discomfort in the lungs and the rib cage. Simply enjoy the breath. Enjoy the stillness of your mind and the peacefulness of this moment. Just a couple more breaths here. And then very slowly, you're going to start waking up the body. Slow movements of your toes and your fingers. Maybe rotating your hands, your feet, opening the joints, and in the other direction. And then rock the head from one side to the other. Just a few times slowly. And then stretch the arms all the way up, interlace the palms and press the palms away from the body. At the same time, flex your feet, stretch the heels forwards and stretch the arms up. And slowly bring yourself into a little bowl, give your knees a hug and gently walk from side to side. Just a few more rolls. And then come to the center. Stretch your left leg forwards. And with the palms of your hands, gently press onto the right knee. Make sure you, the top of the body is relaxed, the shoulders are on the floor. So no need to be pressing too much, just allow the weight of the hands to bring that knee towards your armpit. So rather than keeping it on top of the chest, move it slightly out towards the right. And then from here, stretch the right arm so it's perpendicular to the body. And then exhale. And then bring the leg over to the left. Coming into a supine twist. You can keep the eyes closed or open, whichever one works for you. Try and keep your right shoulder down. Face soft. And then see if you can bring the knee higher up towards the chest. And then lower it down, pushing the knee down towards the other knee. So just feeling the range of motion and the sensations when you change the position of your leg. And inhale, come to the middle. Find your strap. And you're going to open it and place it on the ball of your right foot. So even if you got the foot wrong, it doesn't matter so long as you do it on the other side. So try and straighten the leg and push the heel towards the sky making the left leg really strong, flexing the left foot. And then here you can hold it with one hand, with two hands, whatever feels good. Shoulders on the floor. Head relaxed, 
neck relaxed. Bring the chin into the chest. Connect to your breath. And don't forget, the bottom leg is also active, also flexed. Keep pushing the heel towards the front of the room. Take that right leg a little bit higher. Flex. Just kill the mosquito. Toes towards your forehead. And take the strap in your right hand. Open the left arm to the side. Press the palm down and open the leg. All the way to the right. It doesn't matter where it reaches, you can keep it bent too. Try to keep the left hip on the floor, so gently press with your left hand. And breathe. Remember to keep your left leg strong, flexed. Push through the um, ball of your right foot and pull the strap towards you. One more breath. And inhale. Come to the middle. Release the strap. And bend that knee, bend the other one. And then you're going to switch. Straightening the right, bending the left. Interlace the fingers on your knee. And move the knee to the left. Allow the arms to be heavy. This time the right leg is strong, flex the foot. Two more deep breaths. And then release the left arm on the floor, palm facing down. And bring the right, sorry, the left knee to the right. You can look towards the back arm and gently press the left knee with your arm. And now bring the knee a little higher up and see how the stretch along the spine, the sensation moves. And then push it down towards your right knee and feel where the sensation is. And then inhale, come back to center, take your strap around the ball of your left foot. Keep your bottom leg really strong, flexing the foot, holding your strap, push through the ball of the foot and pull through the strap. Release the top of the body, release the face, and breathe. See if you can press that heel away from you. Both heels away from you, actually. One more breath. And then grab the strap in your left hand, open the right palm, Oh, sorry, hand down on the floor, right palm on the floor. And keeping both legs flexed, both feet flexed. Keep breathing. So for the flying splits that we want to attempt, we need to really open up the hamstrings, the hips, and work a little bit on core and bent arm strength. So that's what we're going to do. And inhale, come back to center, release your strap. And then let's hug both knees in and start rolling up and down.
Now from here, what we're going to do is going to transition. So keep rolling. From rolling into cross-legged, hands in front of your feet, and jump back in Chaturanga or plank and then chaturanga or knees chest chin inhale roll up in cobra press the tops of the feet allow the shoulders to be soft and exhale through child's pose, tucking the toes, stretch the body, and inhale, hips up into downward facing dog. So first down dog for the day, start walking dog. Bend one knee, then the other. Check that your hands are hip distance. Sorry, hands are shoulder distance. The mosquitoes are distracting me. A second one fell dead in an ant. I'm such a to stationary down dog. Rotate the shoulders out. Press the palms into the floor. All fingers pressing into the floor. Spread them wide chest to your thighs from here inhale rock forwards into plank so rock so much forwards that your hands um, your arms are not vertical but a slightly forwards of vertical so just working into your wrists and push yourself back up down facing dog Inhale, rock forwards, plank. From that plank position, move a bit more forwards, flexing the wrists a bit more. Inhale, down dog. Last time, inhale, come forwards. Shoulders really ahead of your wrists. So move a bit more forwards. And exhale, push yourself up. Walk the hands back towards your feet. Release your wrists, maybe give them a um, circle of two. And then shake, grab the opposite elbows. And just pulse a few times up and down. And then go from side to side, looking behind your knees. Very good. Release the arms. Bring them behind your legs, wherever you can reach. Inhale. Let's first come halfway up. And on your exhale, you're going to really hug your hamstrings. And you're going to fold in two, allowing the head to drop. Shake it for yes, for no. Push through your feet and see if you can straighten your legs a little bit more. Transfer the weight so it's equally spread between your heels and your toes. Very good. Hug those legs a little closer, lengthen the spine, push your tail up towards the sky. And exhale, relax your hands. Walk them back forwards into downward facing dog. Very good. From here, we start working a little bit on the core. Let's inhale and bring the right leg up. Flex the foot and shoot the heel up. 
on your next exhale, transfer the weight, bend that right knee and try and touch your right shoulder and really come forwards. Come more forwards, more forwards. And inhale, push yourself up. Strong core, stretch the leg. Exhale, same thing, moving forwards, trying to touch your right shoulder. Squeeze the belly, move the lock forward, keep the arms straight. Inhale, stretch up. Last time, exhale, moving forwards, round the back, pull the belly in, touch your arm as high as you can, and step it through. Okay, you're on the back toes. Lift yourself up, high lunge. Stretch the arms up, lengthen the waist. Bend the front knee so it's over your ankle. And see if you can straighten your back leg. Very good. Exhale, interlace the arms behind your back. Lift them away from the torso and start bending the back knee so it touches down the floor. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep the body vertical. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, and last time down, we're gonna stay here. Release the arms, frame the front foot. Grab your blocks. Lengthen your spine. Really roll the shoulders away from your ears. Take another big, long breath here. And on your next exhale, you're going to lift the back knee off the floor, move a few times forwards, back, up, down. And from here, straighten the right leg. Flex the right foot. Flex your right foot. So the one that is in front of you needs to go, aha. Uh -huh. Exhale, come down, low lunge, back knee touching the floor. Inhale, push yourself up. Straighten the leg, flex the foot. Inhale, moving slowly, coming all the way down, touch the back knee. Inhale, hips back, straightening the front leg. Flex the foot and stay here. Push your right hip back, left hip forwards. Roll the shoulders back. Lengthen your spine, chin to the chest. Very nice. One more breath. Inhale, bend the front knee. You can remove your blocks, place the hands either side of the foot. And from here, engage the core, move the foot out and away from between your hands and stretch it up into a three-legged dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Shoulders a bit forward of your wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows backwards, Chaturanga. Inhale, loop the shoulders back. Press the tops of the feet, pubic bone into the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stay here for a few breaths. Option to keep walking your dog. 
or to come in child's pose. It's always an option. I allow you so long as you allow yourself. It is an option. Okay, prepare for the other side. Next inhale, left leg up. Stretch the heel, square the hips. One more breath, pushing the floor away. And on your exhale, transfer the weight. Bend the knee and see if you can touch your left shoulder. Move forwards. Inhale, stretch the leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, moving forwards. Touch as high up as you can, round the back. And inhale, stretch up. Last time, move forwards. Come on the tippy toes of your back leg. This will help you. Round the back. Take another breath and step through. Line your left foot and your hands. Back heel off the floor. Inhale. High lunge. Bending the front knee so it's over your ankle. See if you can straighten the back leg. Stretch, long waist, core engaged, tuck the tail. One more breath. And then exhale, bring the arms back, interlace. Now the other interlace, the more uncomfortable one. Move the arms away from the body. And slowly exhale down, back knee touches the floor. Inhale up, body vertical, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time. Inhale, come up. And exhale, slowly down, release the arms, take your blocks, frame the front foot. Lengthen your spine. Roll the shoulders back and away from your ears, chin to the chest. Breathe. On your next inhale, you're going to push yourself up into pyramid pose, straightening the left leg, flex the left foot. So left toes pointing towards your forehead. Exhale, bend, drop the back knee down. Moving slowly with focus. Inhale, straighten, flex the foot, keep the back long, exhale, bend the front knee, back knee on the floor, two more, inhale, up, flex the foot, long back, try not to round it, exhale, dropping the back knee down, last one, inhale, and stay here. Keep breathing, left hip back, right hip forward. Long spine, shoulders away from your ears, push them back. Very nice, one more breath. Exhale, bend the front leg. And here, move forwards and back. Up and down, just a few times. Into the hip joint. Remove your blocks, press the palms either side of the left foot. 
inhale, round the back, engage the core, move that foot away from your hands and stretch it up, heel to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, please move through your vinyasa. Plank. So shoulders a little forward of your wrist. And exhale, bending the elbows, squeezing them into the body. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, down dog. Take a couple of breaths in down dog. And then slowly bring the knees down. And let's rest for a few breaths in child's pose. Allow the forehead to be supported. If it doesn't reach the ground, use a block. And feel into the body. Feel into these areas that we have been working. Maybe you feel tingling in your wrists, in your hands. They've done quite a bit of work. Feel the hips. And we've done quite a bit of work too. Okay. Just a couple more breaths before we move on. And slowly, let's inhale, move between your hands and bring yourself up into down, downward facing dogs again. Stretch the body, push the floor, pressing all five fingers into the floor, chest to your thighs. And next, inhale, right leg up. And then bend the knee, open the right hip to the right and aim for the knee to point towards the sky. Bring the opposite, sorry, bring the heel to the opposite hip and press both arms into the floor. Both arms should be straight. Keep opening that hip. Yes, very good. And then from here, exhale and step the foot outside your right hand. And drop the back knee down. So your both hands are inside of your right foot. We are preparing for lizard. So before we come down, let's really straighten that spine. Roll the shoulders back and away from the ears. Untuck the back toe. And you can stay here. Or walk the hands one palm forward and drop the elbows down. Option to use your blocks underneath your elbows. Maybe choosing the level that works for you. the height of the blocks, I mean, that works for you. And sinking into your hips. Very nice. If you want to work the back leg harder, you can tuck the toe and lift the knee or keep the toe untucked even harder and lift the knee. 
and then slowly exhale, release the knee if it's up. On your inhale, walk your hands in line with your front foot. Now, tuck the back toe, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn to the left to go into half squat. So I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Yeah, this is where we are. Hands in prayer or on the floor. Okay, seeing that you're all in prayer, let's interlace the fingers and press the palms forwards, round the back and sink a little lower into your stretch. Keep breathing there. Inhale. Come up. Hands in, in prayer. And then from here, release the hands and press yourself up into a wide legged forward fold. Place your hands anywhere on your legs, wherever they can reach. If you can reach for the ankles or the big toe with your middle and index finger wrap, big toe. Let's inhale and come halfway up, really lengthen the spine forward. And exhale, bend your elbows to the side and bring the body closer to your legs. James, bend the knees a little bit. And yes, and lengthen that spine. Yes, unround it. Very good. Drop the head. You can drop the head. No tension in the head and the neck. Very good. And one last breath. Inhale to come halfway up. And then walk your feet closer in and squat into a full yogic squat. Pressing the palms together. And gently pushing the knees with the elbows, elongate the spine, chin to the chest. Two more deep, long breaths. Connect to your equal inhalations and exhalations. And then release, lift your hips up, open your feet back again, wider, left foot 45 degrees. Now you're gonna squat on the left, stretching your right leg, pointing the right toes. Hands in prayer, long spine. Nice. Interlace the hands, press the palms forwards, come lower, round the back. Breathe. Very nice. And slowly inhale, bring the prayer back in. And hands down on the floor, you're going to rotate towards your left foot. Drop the back knee down on the floor. Walk the left foot out and bring left hand inside. Both hands inside. Preparing for the lizard. You can untuck the back toe. Inhale and really lengthen your spine. Sink into your hip. Tuck the chin in and walk your palms forwards and then start bending the elbows. Doesn't matter if they don't reach the floor, you can keep them bent. 
I'll use the blocks. Breathe into the stretch. Long inhalations. And long exhalations. If you want, tucking the back toes, lifting the knee off the floor. Just for two more breaths. And then slowly release the knee if it's up. And then walk the hands in, in line with your front. Tuck the back toe under. Lift the back knee off the floor. Push the floor away. Make the core really, really strong. Prepare to come into three-legged dog. On inhale. On an exhale, bend the knee. Open the left hip. And see if you can point the left knee up towards the sky. Yes, pressing both hands into the floor. Both hands are on the floor, stretch them. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, come forward. Plank. And exhale, drop the knees down. So we are still up, look at me, with the knees down on the floor. This is kind of a supported plank. So the body is in one line between your knees and your shoulders. Good. And just a little bit of a drill. Turn the elbow forwards, so rotate the upper arms. Bend the elbows backwards and like in Chaturanga, move the body forwards. And press yourself up. Keep the core engaged. Okay, let's do this three more times. So, starting body in one line. Inhale. Move forwards, exhale, start bending the elbows back as close to the body as you can. And push yourself up. So your belly shouldn't be hanging. Two more, let me watch you. Inhale, move forwards, exhale, keep the body in one line. Elbows by the side of the body, squeeze them as close to the body. Very good, one more. And take a little rest in child's pose. Okay, now I think we're fully prepared. Huh? <laughs> we're going to attempt to fly in a splits. Just take a little rest. Let me take my water. Okay, so let's come up in all fours. So we're going to take it in three steps, yeah? You can do only one or two steps. But I am doing, but this time, when we bend the elbows, I want you first to turn your palms out a little bit like that so your elbows are close, closer so that you can support your chest, the lower chest with them. So turn the palms out, move forwards, bend the elbows and support the size of your 
belly, on your elbows. Just try this. So your elbows need to be even closer. Yeah, like this, really close. So they're kind of hitting you just under your ribs. Yeah. Try this one more time, show me. So Benny, you actually you have to support your body on your elbows. I, I see your elbows out. They're not under your body. Okay, maybe this is a little bit better. <laughs> okay. So this is the idea. Now when we try and fly, one of our sides is going to be supported. So see, this side is supported on my elbow. Okay, good. Let's bring, okay, I'll bring the left leg forward. You can bring whichever one you want. Let's all start with the left leg. So it's the same position like we started for lizard. Yeah. Okay, good. So your hands, turn them slightly out, the palms out, yeah? So that your elbows can come closer. Now, start bending the elbows and lean the body forwards. You, you might need to walk that left foot a bit more to the left to make space. Yeah? Okay, I need to turn the other side so you can see what's happening. So, turning the fingers out. Bending the elbows, so I'm hitting my belly. And then I'm going to support my thigh, my inner thigh on my left elbow. Let me have a look. You really need to go forward. Your forearms need to be vertical. Okay, now bend. You can bend that leg, Benny. Just bend it. You don't need to hook. Don't hook. It's more difficult if you hook. Just keep it like that. Yeah? Yeah. Bend the shin back. <laughs> James, I cannot see you, so I cannot comment on you, what you're doing. Maybe you need to move back a little. Okay. Benny, you're doing the more difficult one. Look, this is what you're doing. I, I didn't ask you to do that. Just keep that leg like a little doggy that is peeing. Keep the knee on top of your forearm, yeah? And come forward. <laughs> okay, let's try this one for the last, yeah, that's it, that's it, yes. Elbows together. Together you're opening them wide. No, you don't want that. Elbows really, really in. Aha, uh -huh. in. Let's try the other side. And I'm gonna look at James and what he's doing. So, just to walk you through it again, talk you through it. Turn the palms out, fingers out, elbows together. Step your right foot out, but quite far out. And then you're gonna start doing your chaturanga. Chaturanga, support and lift like a little doggy. Yes, that's it, that's it James, good. Okay, so Benny, you need to move more forwards. Yeah, 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 I can't see. <laughs> you're afraid that you're gonna roll? No, you're not gonna roll. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's it. Good. <laughs> yes, yes. So the next step is, and I don't know if I can do it because I feel really, really very weak. The next step is would be to lift the back, let the back leg off the floor and you can cheat by pressing the top of your head on the floor. So starting again, let me show you. You turn your palms outwards so that your elbows, when you bend them, are hitting your belly. Yeah? You 
bring your back knee off the floor and then you can lift or maybe you can bend it and lift it and then lift the front as we did and you don't need to do much more you don't need to lift your head keep your head on the floor this will give you very good yes so you excellent very good james <laughs> Very good. So try and sustain it for one breath at least. So don't go in and out like hectically. <laughs> okay. So in order for the balance to work, you really have to go a lot forwards. So let's try the other side and then we will rest. We're not trying the open leg one. I'm only going to show you if I can. <laughs> so right leg now. Walk it a bit out, out of your mat. Turn the palms out, fingers out. Start going forwards. Support your elbows, head on the floor. Lift the back knee off the floor, the leg. And lift the head maybe. Just doesn't matter how much you do. Yes, that's it, that's it. Support the forehead on the floor, Benny, and then it will be much easier. Or the top of the head, whatever it feels easier. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I think you've had enough. The, the final bit is, you know, what we did it with the, um, everything bent is to straighten and maybe lift. That's for next time. Okay, good. Let's come into a little bowl. My battery is falling. You can also lie down or just sit in a little bowl, whichever one feels better. And then let's, let's all come down on the floor. And rest, we've worked hard, huh? <laughs> so keep your knees in. You can cross the ankles and then bring your knees really close to your body and gently start rocking it from side to side. And then you're going to grab your feet from the outside or just grab your strap, I think James for you, and bring your knees towards your armpits and your shins should be vertical. So press with your feet with the balls of the feet into the strap and pull the strap with your hands. So your knees should be bent. Now see if you can bring the tailbone flat down towards the floor. So your, your bum shouldn't be up in the air. Try and bring the bum down on the floor. It might be too much to ask of you today, but that should be the intention. And then start rocking from side to side and maybe pulling the one foot in with the strap and then the other doing like a circular motion with the feet, one after the other.
And then let's slowly release the feet. Bring your knees in again. Open the arms to the side, palms down. And then bring the knees over to the right. So knees should be higher up towards your chest. Higher up towards your chest. Pressing gently with the right palm, looking towards the left palm. Deep, long breaths. We are slowing down. And then slowly, let's release the knees, bring them into the middle, and over to the left. Looking towards the right hand, or maybe starting to close the eyes. Slowing down the breath. Maybe lengthening the exhalations. Making them a little longer than the inhalations. Just a couple more. And then slowly coming back to the middle and preparing yourself for Shavasana. So if you need a blanket, Allow on the pillow, anything, grab it. Otherwise, just allow the body to relax into the mat. Facing the hands either on the belly or turning them up towards the sky. Legs are wide apart. Feet are relaxed, falling outwards. Gently tuck the chin in to lengthen the neck. Relax the forehead, the eyebrows. Relax the cheekbones, the jaws. The lips, the teeth are parted. Drop the shoulders down into the floor. Relax the chest, the hips. Soften the belly. Allow the arms and the legs to be heavy and drop the entire body's weight 
into the air.
down and slowly. Start taking deeper breaths into the body. Allowing small movements to come to your fingers and toes. Maybe moving the wrists, the ankles, and walking the head from side to side. Give yourself a stretch. And gently have the knees in. Walking from side to side. And then coming to the right hand side with the knees tucked in. Take a couple more breaths here and gently, when you're ready, bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Allow the spine to be long, shoulders soft, your neck in line with your spine. And gently check that the face is soft. Stay here for a few moments. And notice, see if there's any changes, or it might be that all is the same as at the start of the practice. It's all good, whatever it is. And then bring the hands in prayer in front of the heart and bring the chin into the chest in acknowledgement of your efforts. So I thank you for practicing with me, even the hard poses. Namaste. <laughs>